in this third part of the video setup of Sophos configuration for our virtual machines, we're going to be talking how to set up static IPs. Okay, so I'm going to explain uh, my lab environment for this four static IPs. Uh, normally, you would get a batch of static IPs from your provider, uh, or you could get only one. Uh, so there is a batch, a fake batch. Uh, so numbers uh, will be different, but uh, you would get them in an order, uh, five one, five two, five three, or whatever the order they provided to you. However, in our example, we're gonna be using um, static IPs behind another router on a local network, and our subnet is one nine two one six eight that one that one. So I assign. Uh, uh, 51, 52, 53, 54 static IPs and those IPs will be mapped to each virtual machine so if someone hits uh, this IP supposedly it is this IP uh, on the public internet uh, then uh, on port 80 uh, that packet that comes into the server would go to that virtual machine and so on, so on. So we got five, two, five, three, five, four. So I'm gonna explain and show you how to use this. Now I made some corrections. So uh, actually, the uh, Sophos is connected to the internet with uh, port two, WAN port. Uh, virtual machines will be uh, actually connected on uh, port three, and all the virtual machines are in uh, hosting LAN again. That's the uh, zone. Uh, so uh, we're just gonna. Uh, see how to uh, map the uh, public IP in my case it's a lab environment uh, to a virtual machine or physical server you know so it's totally up to you but uh, this is a diagram of what we uh, gonna try to do first thing you have to do I would highly recommend on the software firewall just go to your network section click on DNS okay uh, DNS is most likely automatic I already changed that it was uh, saying obtain DNS from DHCP however you are getting uh, with the static information all this information provided by your internet provider and usually Verizon Optimum they have their own DNS's you can enter DNS's but I like to use the general public DNS is known to everybody like Google or private DNS 1111 uh, so you change this to static DNS change it to 888 make a change and hit apply once you save that information DNS will be updated and always will stay with 888 now if we make changes to the interface uh, we're not gonna lose connection uh, permanently um, if we don't enter the DNS now DNS is entered so we can go ahead and go to port 2 uh, in port 2 we had actually um, dynamic DHCP over here uh, I already changed this to uh, static so what you will have to go is go and click edit interface because that's where the internet is coming from Okay, and over here, what was before was DHCP. Um, so I would click on static, and then I would enter the IP, the public IP over here. Since uh, in my case, it's the public IP is 192.168.151. That's my lab public IP, and we have to add 52, 53, and 54. So what you have to do is just type in the IP address uh, then you have to give it a name I um, in order for me to easily find that later on I added 51 at the name of gateway and also you need to provide the gateway IP you get that information as well from the ISP provider when you uh, get the static IP if you're using DHCP you don't have to change that you can uh, Keep it at DHCP and you're getting a dynamic uh, information provided from your 
internet provider, but then again, it would only work for one server. And if your IP ever changes, then it would stop working and you would have to uh, go into a website and uh, basically what you would have to do is uh, keep changing the IP address on your domain or you could actually assign dynamic uh, DNS over here if you have a uh, dynamic IP address and then you could use that DNS record uh, for your uh, domain name over here and then you can choose your different providers and then you get a uh, DNS name. That DNS name would not change uh, if your IP changed. So that would be one way, but it's not uh, the greatest way to do it. So what we're gonna uh, do is actually go to interfaces. Okay, so again, uh, you will have to make sure that DNS is entered properly. I would use a public DNS, not ISP provider. Then you would go to the interfaces. Make sure you enter the first static IP address that you have in your uh, pool provided from ISP. And then uh, you have to add the following uh, static IPs uh, by clicking add interface and add aliases. Uh, and then all you have to do is just type in one, the second IP that you get from your ISP provider, 192.168.152. Okay, we're gonna change this to a port two, uh, because that's the, where the internet is coming from. We're gonna uh, hit save. Okay, um, we have to add uh, the next port, add alias, uh, we're going to choose port 2 because that's the incoming internet port, and the third uh, IP would be 192 in my case, 168.1.53, we hit save. And the last, the fourth port that I use is to change the port number to 2192.168.1.53. Actually, that's going to be 54. We got 51, 52, 53, 54. That should be 54. All right, so we got uh, 151, 152, 153, 154. So we all set. We have our static IPs uh, set up. 